to start using the time in an efficient way. The thing is that sometimes we really get caught up in, uh, in that idea that when we learn, we read, we obtain new information and all that, we already are actively doing something. However, this is not going to actually add to your success if you are not going to start applying that information, applying that knowledge. This whole idea that you're actually getting, uh, getting results while reading, learning and all that without doing and implementing the information is actually a little bit misleading and uh, we were taught that way specifically at schools we have been more focused on learning however then do you remember that we also had some practical classes when we were actually doing certain things so this is exactly the concept i want you to get in your head because the thing is that start using your time means start using it efficiently towards achieving and actually getting your goals you always wanted when it comes to learning and specifically for people who do actually work with information and provide services and all that this can be really the key point for you to increase the amount of money you make in your life and actually the key turnaround in your life when you really realize that Using your time efficiently doesn't mean that you need to work yourself to the exhaustion. However, you really need to be more focused on what and when you actually start applying the information you have learned. Because the, that's the thing that whenever I learn something new, and it can be something new about online business. It can be something new about building multiple streams of income, which I talk about uh, on this channel. Whenever I learn something new, to not to get into that trap of constant learning, because I always have that that uh, you know that thought that I'm still missing something. There is still some more information I can learn. And yes, that even that it may be true. However, if you want to actually scale up your business, if you want to even start your online business, or if you want to start your goals in your private life, such as building your, um, building your degree or starting your, your fitness program or start, uh, I don't know, start creating a better relationships with your, with your parents or with your loved ones, you need to be active rather than passive. And even the whole idea of passive income, as I have already discussed quite a few times on this channel, even the passive income is not as passive because you have to be active to actually put your time and your effort into creating that product, which will eventually in the future generate that passive income. So as you see, a passivity, being passive doesn't bring you the results but also being active and running around the whole day and just jumping from one thing to another thing because everyone wants million of things from you you see that's already not productive and i think that we all went through uh, this phase in our life when we really realized that okay this is not really going to generate a consistent result which i can actually make by myself and, and I can stay sane, you know, because otherwise if you really jump on each and every request from people around, if you, when, uh, when you're building a passive income online and setting up multiple streams of income, I have read some articles where you would have like 100 and plus ideas of how to make money online, for example. If I would want to try each and every idea, I mean, where would I get? Probably nowhere really on a consistent basis. And this is something you have to realize that even though internet is amazing place and we have a lot of opportunities, I would definitely urge you to learn. For one hour of learning, practice three hours of actually doing and applying what you learned. So let's take it, let's take this step back now. How, how does it going to work? You're going to actually learn about uh, book publishing. Let's say your business model you have chosen for creation of passive income is book publishing. You're going to learn one hour about how to publish your book, what you need to do when it comes to creation of your, 
for your SEO, searching for title, you know, getting a good, a good cover and, and all the bits and pieces when it comes to, to setting up your, your Kindle, uh, Kindle publishing business. When it comes to using your time efficiently, when it comes to building an online business, you perhaps could use a trackers and actually set up and see your progress. Like this, you can also set up the things you need to do. And from one hour of learning, you can invest three hours into doing, and then actually with the printable trackers to make sure that the things even got done searching for title you know getting a good a good cover and, and all the bits and pieces when it comes to to setting up your your kindle uh, kindle publishing business and then you are going to invest at least three hours of literally doing that you're gonna write write a book for three hours you're going to be creating your cover within these three hours i'm not saying to create one cover for three hours I think let's you you know what I mean you know what I'm getting uh, take a realistic time one cover doesn't take you three hours to make however like you're going to start applying all the things you have learned step by step and even though your first cover uh, for the book may not be perfect and even though your first uh, title may not be perfect but at least you are going to do the research uh, Put the, the work in, in action and you are going to end up after three hours with probably three quarters of your book written or I mean depends obviously on the length of the book but let's say that you are going to write a shorter book shorter ebook a bit more specifically focused on the topic so like this you're going to have a, a substantial part of your business ready you're going to invest one hour of your time into learning okay what do I need to actually uh, include in my business? And then you are going to apply it. This is exactly what I mean when I actually, when I'm talking about how to use your time efficiently, being productive and actually produce the results. And this is then the point when you actually end up with achieving certain results that day and, and actually having that personal personal satisfaction because you actually have achieved something. It's not like you were reading for one hour and then rereading the same thing, maybe in a different way for another three hours. And eventually you ending up your day and all you have is maybe that, that sense of like accomplishment, like you have learned something. However, then where are the results in your own life? And that's what I'm talking about. So this is what I mean uh, when it comes to using your time efficiently. Yes, we need to learn, obviously, when you're starting with your book publishing, as we're using that as an example, uh, and you never published a book before, you don't know how to set up your Kindle account. You don't know what you need to, to actually write a book, even though like maybe by now you may have a little bit of idea. I mean, we all have seen the books. And now what you need to do in a sense to, to actually market the book and start selling the book. So as you see, I mean, it's a business model and there are uh, bits and pieces which fine, you may need to learn about, but then you need to practice. So this is the way how you are going to use your time efficiently. I would like to hear from you in the comments below whether you are going to start using your time efficiently when it comes to making more money. Specifically on this channel, I'm talking about making more money online. Uh, so you can check uh, the video which I'm going to leave uh, in the description below where I'm talking about multiple business models, which you can also start setting up for yourself. So are you going to focus on making money online or are you going to focus on your personal goals like uh, achieving a higher degree or signing up for a course or or actually achieving your fitness goals so which one from those two areas uh, i would like to really hear from you so the comments below whether you are going to start using your time efficiently in area of making money or your personal uh, personal achievements I hope that you enjoyed this video and you are going to start taking action actually and applying what you learned. As I'm saying, as I said in uh, this video, I recommend the ratio of learning one hour and then applying and practicing at least for three hours. 
If you can do more, well, even better. <laughs> Trust me, even better. So remember the ratio, set up the step-by-step the -step process, learn what needs to be done, and then apply it for at least three hours. Let me know your, your results. And in the meantime, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss my videos, which I'm posting on a regular basis. And we're going to learn together how to make money online and how to manage money well, because that's also important if you want to build your financial stability for the long term and on a consistent basis. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.